What is good everybody, it's Random here and welcome back to another Minecraft How To video. Ooh, it has been a hot minute, I will say. Uh, but we are back, which is good. Uh, it's all good, everything's going uh, well. And we are sitting pretty in Minecraft version 1.13, which um, well, I haven't been on Minecraft in, uh, in quite a little bit, but... 1.13, uh, I was at least on for 1.12, and when I got on, I was amazed, I was blown away by all the new stuff we got, we got, uh, we got these, well, first of all, we got logs, um, are separate now, we've got this new striped, striped wood, striped blocks, we've got regular wood blocks, which is cool, uh, we've got, um, uh, freaking coral, we got, uh, coral block kelp blue ice whatever that is we got more coral we got um i, I don't i don't know what we got uh, that's not new we got new uh fishes we got new fishes textures uh we got um this heart of the sea nautilus shell um we got a turtle shell we got a new weapon, the the freaking trident, wherever that is, totem of undying. We got a bunch of stuff uh, that is new, guys, which is pretty cool. We got new trap doors and pressure plates, which I'm pretty excited about. Buttons are different. Anyways, we just got a lot of new stuff in this uh, update, guys, and I'm really excited to try it out. But first, we have a video. Uh, something that I've been planning for quite a long time, and I know it's ironic that we're doing this in version 1.13, but this is how to build with the Minecraft 1.8 blocks. At least I'm pretty pretty positive these are the these came out in 1.8. Uh, 1.7 or 1.8, but I'm pretty sure it's 1.8. So we have uh, the infamous diorite, andesite, and granite combo. Now normally, these are all used for decoration right these are all used to you know decorate pathways or um, some other form of decoration or some people just throw them out entirely because they can't find a good use for them but they do have a good use so if you uh, go over to uh, the diorite you can if we uh, decide to analyze it a little closer uh, obviously from a distance it is white um, but it's also got numerous gray uh, shades and uh, specks uh, hidden throughout the white, which is cool. Um, andesite is mostly gray, but if you get closer, you'll notice like little hints of green in there. We will analyze that and use that to our advantage. And then granite is a brownish red, and if you get up close, there's also little hints of gray uh, and uh, light gray, red, brown sprinkled in there. Um, so yeah, and that's an interesting one to work with. So anyways, we will go ahead and start with our uh, our how-tos. Now, the whole point of this series is to build houses out of these blocks. It may not be the nicest looking houses, but uh, they're houses out of these blocks, and they look not bad, uh, I would say. So here is our diorite house so it's pretty basic and i've set the layup for you right over here it's basically one larger room connected to some smaller rooms so we've got one large five by seven room in the center then next to it two four by four rooms and then a three by three hallway or entrance and that's all surrounded by uh diorite with log posts at every corner um and then we also added a little fireplace to the to the end. So here we go. We got the fireplace. We kind of just decorated it as we pleased. What was that? Two, three, four tall, four tall walls. And then we start to build our uh, our roof on that uh, that fifth layer. So uh, yeah. Then the roof is normal on these uh, these structures, or on these little sides out here, and then it's kind of a stair, block stair, block stair, kind of that sort of deal uh, in the center. So you can see kind of how I uh, decorated it as I do a fly around. Um, we use the, the oak trap doors on these because uh, 
this was built in like 1.11 or 1.12 so obviously the new textured trap doors were not out then uh, but if we uh, had them I probably would have used them if we go inside the house I didn't decorate it much we got a we got a moose head over the fireplace and uh, but yeah you can uh, you're free to decorate this pretty much how you want you can put a bedroom here you can put a kitchen here you can put some tables and stuff in the hallway some carpet have a nice little couch lean to your fireplace it'd be uh it'll be beautiful so yeah and then you can put flowers and stuff in the flower pots outside so really this is just kind of decorated as you will um, overall I'd say it looks pretty nice I think this was the easiest or one of the easiest to build a house out of because it's got those darker specs so I figured I'd include some darker shades as well as some grays in there and overall it turned out pretty nice sprinkled some spruce wood along with that dark oak you know those are two of my favorite blocks to use is spruce and dark oak so if you want the full building materials list here you go we got dark oak stuffs we got some gray stained glass panes uh, cobwebs for decoration grass blocks you're probably not going to have those you got all, all of our stones and then spruce stuff as well and then oak trap door so there you go take a screenshot if you want to and i'm sure you've taken enough screenshots of this to know how this is built and kind of see the dimensions of this so there you go one last fly around and yep all right moving on to the next one is our andesite house and notice how I or if you'll remember I said there was a bunch of green in the uh, in the andesite blocks which we really brought out this is essentially just like our minecraft dirt house how to if you want to watch that video uh, warning it's kind of cringy in the beginning because I didn't really know what I was doing I was trying to make a joke just ignore that uh, so uh, anyways, this is kind of built like that. We're going to start with a freeform base, if you will notice back here. Kind of just a circular, yet still pretty freeform base. And then you kind of just uh, build it up as you will so that it's kind of spherical, um, if you don't mind a Drake and Josh reference. Uh, and then decorated the diorite with some cobblestone, mossy stone bricks, uh, added some jungle leaves for vines as well as some oak uh as like wooden supports some uh some walls you know stuff like that added some different colored glasses uh glass for windows we got some gray glass over here we've got green back here and over uh over here we've got just an empty space right there uh we got a trap door on the front we've added some signposts as supports as well if you want to see the full building materials list, here you go. We got all these different types of stones right here. Uh, fences, gates, trapdoors, signs, panes, jungle stuff, dirt, whatever. Uh, and here are all your woods as well. You can probably identify those relatively easily. So anyways, here we are in our center. Uh, we've got kind of two blocks out from the wall. And, uh, and then we dipped it down and kind of just added some spruce planks to uh, have a nicer, smoother transition. So you can just kind of sprinkle decorations and whatnot around as you want. We've got this oak post in the center as support be or as a support thing. And then we've got some beams uh, out of planks and I guess some signs as well. I would have used... Uh, trap doors had I been able to um, and you can now because trap door physics are a lot different than they were when I built this um, but yeah overall I think it looks pretty good just kind of sprinkle the uh, regular dirt coarse dirt and concrete uh, out throughout here so you get a nice um, nice pretty consistent and textured uh, textured look don't know why that grass block is still there oh well so yeah there you go I guess one last overview of the house and kind of see how it was built and handled and there we go and now we are moving on to our third and final house and the most recent one that I have built and this is the granite house 
as you can see, I used a lot of dark oak uh, alongside the granite because if you notice, there is, like I mentioned, a lot of these darker colors and streaks and some grays popping out. So we decided to uh, use those. If you want the layout of the house, here you go. It's pretty, pretty small, kind of cramped, but uh, you can make it look pretty nice on the inside. We got some dark oak as our support beams. So we kind of just used those and then filled in the blank space so it didn't look too terrible. Um, kind of just, I'll let you see how we did, uh, did the designs uh, overall. So we'll just do a little wrap around to that. Obviously we got some cobblestone for, on our roof. Um, that was pretty simple, just cobblestone slab and then a stair and the next layer and then a slab and then another slab on top and that kind of finishes that off. For the, uh, well the dark oak trap doors I'd like to mention, uh, if it wasn't obvious enough, very much like chocolate bars. So I was uh, unsure as to whether or not I should actually use them, but uh, they turned out pretty okay. I would say I still like the spruce trap doors by far my favorite because um, I just love spruce wood kind of just decorated it as I wanted to as it I it came to me as it looked good to me I guess our door is the traditional banner with the trap door on it you want to keep people from coming into your house boop trap door and now they can't come in you might find it difficult they might not know why they can't come in but they'll probably figure it out eventually. Uh, anyways, I kind of decorated the interior a little bit. We got some planks on the ceiling made out of trap doors, uh, which, well, yeah, we're gonna kind of glad we made those as we did. Unfortunately, we can't stack them on top of each other underneath a uh, slab yet, but maybe we can in the future. Um, Added a little space over here, just a bed. Uh, oh. Excuse me. Okay. Added a little bed over here. Kind of decorated the interior just a little bit to see, uh, give you an idea of how this can be done. We added some of these striped blocks. I really wanted to implement the striped blocks. This kind of looks like hay, I've noticed. So you might be able to make a hay field out of these striped blocks and stuff. Our windows are... Uh, look okay from the outside they're also pretty functional if you want to get just a peek of the outside world you can close these upper two trap doors and if you want to close out entirely there you go pretty basic pretty easy pretty simple and you can pop those open for a nice fresh view of the world in the morning uh chests up there because you can stack those on you can stack those on trap doors now although you can't make a double chest but still we're making progress um, they're finally adding a bunch of stuff that we want to build with. This is so cool. And then you can just kind of decorate the rest of the house as you like. Here's a little kitchenette area, you know, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's going to, uh, that's going to do it for this one. Oh, and then of course the, uh, blocks that I use, we have the granite and then all of our dark oak stuff, cobblestone, the striped, uh, striped oak, and then decoration blocks among other things. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to make your house instead of, or make some of these houses instead of throwing out the materials like you might normally do, then I'm sure you can take plenty of screenshots throughout the video. I tried to pan around the houses as much as I could. So hopefully you guys found that very helpful. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you all next time. Peace out.